Hey, hi Priya. I'm just waiting few more people to join so that we can start. Hi Uma. Hi Kanchan. Hi Gayatri. Hi Swati. Okay, we'll uh, start. Let the let other people can join. So, so I, as I mentioned in the FB, so we are going to start with fluid art. So fluid art, as the name other other way other ways, it's called as acrylic pouring. So acrylic pouring is an abstract art. So the one can create the background with this and scenery, seascape, whatever they want, they can do. So if you like the background as it is, so most of the artists are doing only with the background. They, they just leave like that. So actually nowadays, if you look at the uh, even Western artists and all, they are creating some more 3D art and all on top of that uh, background. So today, the, for that, no, we have to wait for two, three days in this weather condition that... Uh, Generally, it will take so much time to dry that acrylic pouring because it is very thick paint we are going to pour. But now, uh, if you want to create on top of that 3D, so it will take so much time. So for acrylic pouring, very, very important. It is very messy art. So you can first create, we have to create the our base, I mean the space where we are going to create that should be well See, so here I'm taking this old cardboard and I just stick the cling film. So if you ha don't have the cling film when you are using the canvas, no, so you can use that wrap also. So that will be very cost effective also. Already ac acrylic pouring, no, when it, it is introduced in India, we all that typical Indian mindset, oh my God, so much paint they are pouring and it's total waste so what should we do and all uh, we will no little bit not very keen to try it out so <laughs> i know so everyone will think like that so but that for that also we have so much solution to that it won't be waste at all so i'll show you a few more ideas for the after pouring what we can do 
okay that extra paint or the waste paint and all we can create so many art forms okay so now this is my base cardboard and this is the cling film i just stuck and the acrylic pouring or fluid art it it is it's not that simply we can um, no we can't it, it it's not come under simply acrylic pouring okay uh, mix the paint whatever however you want and then simply pouring no it has it its own harmony and beauty and the planning everything it is there so there are more than 10 plus types of acrylic pour one is the basic one is clear pour so neatly you have whatever the color palette you are choosing with that you just pour it on the canvas and you can tilt the canvas that is clear pour other one is dirty pour if whatever the same thing whatever color you want you can put it in one cup any cup any measurement depending on your canvas size or whatever whatever base you are choosing depending on that you choose the cup and then you pour the paint and then you can tilt it on the canvas that is dirty pour another one is flip cup so no put all the paints in the cup and then you just take the canvas and then keep the canvas like this and then you have to dip ulta make it ulta so your paint will be like in on the canvas this is called flip cup another type is swipe so once your paint and the canvas everything you poured you have to swipe it with whatever that uh, depending on the size you can choose any plastic sheet or whatever it is you can swipe okay so that is called swipe technique another one now nowadays so many people are uh, trying out is balloon schmas so that same thing balloon schmas is nothing but you have to pour the dirty pour that however color you can pour it and then while pouring itself you have to little bit like tilting and jumping here and there so that is called balloon smash and then marbling marbling also it's not that no before olden days we are doing marbling with the oil painting or the enamel painting put it on the water and then we have to tilt the uh, base to that it will absorb the same thing we can create in pouring technique also but it needs more of a practice so we need to do that marbling line and the color palette everything it's very very important so marbling technique is little bit advanced one and then tree ring tree rings no if you see that if you cut the tree and then the rings are there no so that kind of pour also so take the paint and then if you just turn uh, rotate the cups so that will become the like ring effect will come so that is ring pour next is puddle pour puddle pour nothing but you have to put the base color for example white or black or whatever color the base color and you have to create so much puddles either it be a single color or two three color puddles also you can put after that you can tilt that is called puddle pour and then most uh, commonly nowadays it's very emerging one is dutch pour it's very interesting if that dutch pour is my favorite also so pour the color everything in that according to your color palette and then blow it either with the uh, heat gun or the straw or your mouth itself you can uh, of course a little bit distance from the canvas so you can blow the paint so that will create some uh, flower or the abstract kind of very nice effect it will come so uh, these are the basic and beginners anyone can try now little bit advanced whatever advanced method we can <laughs> uses string pulling string pulling or thread pulling whatever it is so we pour the paint and then we put the string metal strings or metal chain or ball chain whatever it is so we can you have to pull that so you can your flower or butterfly or whatever it is it will form however we are pulling the chain so it will form so that is called chain pulling or string pulling so next one is dip pour dip pour is nothing but you have to pour the paint in the down i mean the surface and then you have to take your uh, base surface either canvas or whatever it is you have to flip it and then press it so that is dip or reverse pour okay another advanced method is resin pour 
so resin is also nowadays resin pour is also in the trend so many are trying to use resin with the colors and all those things so that will be look uh, very glassy and very uh, look is very good actually resin pour i love okay now these many methods are there still here because of the time limit and all those things i am going to show you only one method called swipe okay i hope i am audible yes oh thanks priya okay now whatever we are going to so so this is there so for canvas base you can use any old bottles whatever it is you can keep it here and you can keep the canvas okay keep the canvas now i am going to take blue blue palette i am i wanted to create some seascape so i am taking this one teal blue and this blue and white okay before i put all these colors today i am taking this is for my base as gesso okay this is this gesso also i just mixed as uh, pouring consistency like uh, 70% gesso and 30% water <clears throat> okay so it should be like this like it should not be very thick should not be very runny also okay so this is my gesso and water now one more small tip do to not waste the paint so first you should not put your paint into the cup so that time what will happen your paint will stick half of the paint will stick in the cup for that we have to use pour the medium first okay here i am taking fevicryl pouring medium so you have to pour the medium okay just rotate okay now what happen that this will become a coat for your cup so after that if you put the paint no it won't waste okay so approximately i am taking 50 50 50% pouring medium 50% paint and i'm going to today i'm going to show you how to get the cells see pouring our fluid art it's nothing but simply mixing the painting and pouring and tilting and however the pattern it's coming like a abstract art it's not not like that i like to create cells so cells is the most attractive form of uh, uh, fluid art so this also like this consistency paint okay so whoever doesn't have you can buy the fevicryl kit itself pouring medium it's coming with along with that but if you don't have the pouring medium you can mix 60 per 60% fevicol and 40% water so that is that will become your cost effective pouring medium okay so don't mix 60 50 50 so 60% fevicol 40% water okay this consistency i am going to add little more so my canvas is little big so this is approximately 50 50 okay this color is let it be here and then a 
again pouring medium first. See, foreign, if you want to create the cells without silicon, without uh, um, any uh, soap, uh, liquid soap also people are using to create cells. But if you mix the imported one, float or float trawlers there, so that is if you use no need of uh, silicon or whatever it is. So first medium. And then paint. So I'm planning to uh, create some seascape or the uh, kind of uh, seascape or the sky effect or underwater sea. So I'm usage taking the blue. So this also like this consistency I can add little more paint okay so yes this is fine okay so now our gesso is ready teal blue is ready another blue is also ready now I am going to take white So uh, same way first the medium okay just roll it off to save the paint and you can add your white paint. Okay and mix it nicely. Today I am going to show you one surprise element to get the cells i think i i don't think uh, any indian artist are using this I, I know as far as my knowledge i didn't see or i didn't hear about this thing so you will be wonder oh my god for this also we can create nice cells like that okay so i just tried today morning only so it came out very nicely so i'm uh, fingers crossed for now also it should come with that material okay that is nothing but a glass varnish so I hope uh, no one is using this till now as far as my knowledge so today morning only I tried with this material for to create the cells so we'll see how it will come so I'm the second experiment with you all I'm going to do First one it's drying so I, it the nicely it came the cells. So one more thing the, with this uh, kit also the uh, silicon oil is also there. Okay fevicryl pouring kit but somehow I am not comfortable with this uh, silicon oil. So see with uh, the problem is you see you can you, you can see the shine the sheen on that. So the, the residue of the oil will come. So once it completely dry, if you see no, so the, the oil will be coming out. So you can wipe it and use. So somehow I want to try something else. So I didn't use, uh, today I am not going to use uh, silicon oil instead of varnish I am going, I am using to get this nice cells. Okay. So first, just so. So just pour the gesso. So again, again I am repeating. This is 70% gesso, 30% water. Okay. So here I didn't add any medium and all. Nothing. Only gesso and water. Any brand gesso you can use. So either you can spread it with the spoon or a palette knife, whatever it's there. 
don't worry about too much for the base it, it has to the whatever paint we are going to pour it has to move smoothly for that either you can use white paint itself or whatever color you are going you want you wish you according to your color palette you can use So now comes the magic material gloss varnish. So I'm just put just one spritz. That's it. Mix it nicely. I'm hoping, praying to get the nice cells which I, uh, the, the morning whatever I got, I want to get the same thing. So I, again one more spritz. And if you like the video please uh, like the live please show some love and if you wish to share kindly share the video okay so now the magic okay so first I'm going to pour the dark blue. Okay, and then teal blue. Since our canvas, I have taken the 10 by 12 canvas and mixed very little paint and the, this is swipe technique. So remember that. So uh, not all the pouring uh, methods are same. So as I explained in the beginning, each we have to pour a different, uh, I mean different types and methods and all those things it's there. So again I have a little bit blues there. Just here and there. So since as I told it's an abstract art. Don't worry about oh, oh, oh my god here this paint came here this paint that came here and all. So don't worry. Just freely you can pour your paint. So now this is white. I hope I'm explaining to such level so you can understand. So now for swiping, I'm taking the OHP sheet or any thick, uh, I mean plastic sheet or whatever it is, you can use. Oh my God, even I'm tensed now. So I'm going to swipe. So little bit here and there if it is air bubble is there you can uh, pinch it with uh, this thing with the um, I mean any toothpick or needle whatever it is today I'm not going to use any hair dryer or torch nothing okay my hands are shivering so to get that uh, proper Oh my god.
it's coming cells are started coming i don't know whether you can see in the camera but i can see nicely the cells are started popping out okay this you can keep it here see can you see see the cells started popping out so once it started drying no i can uh, see the so many cells so any glass varnish you can use so this is totally an abstract seascape so according to your plan or this thing you can choose the color palette okay see how messy it is so this is the messy art see here the teal it's coming and here and all cells are forming i don't know i i how to show the proper cells but it's magic here it's the magic so abstract painting swipe technique okay yeah so you can leave it as it is or you can blow with the torch blow torch or a straw and all so you can push the paint like this side also but i i want to be like this so i don't want to push i want to be the some uh, white space here and here also some white uh, space created so some kind of abstract i want to so i am going to leave it here itself okay see my hands fully mess so that's why i told you it's a messy art and neck as i said before itself so whatever paint it's down and here no once it is dried this is called acrylic skin okay so this with this acrylic skin we can do so many gift items so that also it won't waste you, if you can see here see this no once it is dried you can just peel it off for that purpose only i have put this sheet okay one second i'll just uh, wipe my hand and come okay sorry so see see these are the acrylic skins with my previous experiments whatever i have uh, it's there no so i have just collected this one so first if you are if you are the beginner and if you want to try it out with this try with a smaller one inexpensive one in cds okay see these are my experiments the same here also i used varnish only this is dried luckily this one dried the same color palette i tried that it's not it dried so see this one see the cells and this one only black red and yellow i used in this so this one you can you no know, you can stick some flowers and stick some uh, sentiment and you can use it as fridge magnet this is nothing but cd okay so this you can try first in this smaller area and then you can go for the bigger one and this uh, this cd will become the best out of waste also and then this one no for the acrylic skin so i'm little bit worried about this thing so i'm pushing
yeah with this acrylic skin so first first whatever i have tried no in the cd so you can peel as it is see nicely you can peel it will come like a dosa okay so you can cut any shape any shape you can cut with the scissors itself simply you can make it jewelry uh, as my uh, one of my favorite hobby you can make jewelry and bookmarks you can make and uh keychain keychain you can make you can cut the some flower shape you can make it with the greeting cards and uh, you can make collage collage art and you can cut and then some shapes and uh, you can uh, keep some uh, sentiments and you can use it as a journal journal page okay and nothing if you don't like nothing so if you are using resin so for that also i have the solution just crush all the skins okay nicely crush it and put it in any mold any mold or cup whatever it is just keep it and pour the resin in this after 24 hours uh, depending on the weather if you take no it, it will become nicely nice and beautiful colorful attractive paper weight you can get okay with this so i'm going to try some jewelry and bookmarks with this skins so we'll post in the group i mean in the page itself so hope you like this session and you learned something you knew once knew something to get that uh, apart from silicon oil and uh, liquid soap you can use glass varnish also to get the nice cells i hope the session will be useful for you so now any doubts Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, so many options. So, we can create wonders in this. So, I hope uh, it will be useful. It, it's like, you know, it's a stress buster also. No need to, you know, stress, stress, stress yourself and do the, you know, perfect art form. Nothing like that. So, with this, see, you can use the abstract art form in minutes. Okay. Thank you so much for joining. Ah, uh, uh, no, Priya. See, I didn't apply anything. Not simply on top of that. See, I just peeled it. Very old CD. So I was waiting to put it in. Uh, uh, I mean, e-waste as per that. Uh, no dry. What do you call that? <laughs> Segregating the waste, e-waste. No. So I was waiting for that. So I just wanted to try such an old CD. So in this, I just pour on top of this, and I peeled also nicely. It came out superbly. See, okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. If you have any doubt, you can ask here also or after. Sometimes also, I will see the comments, and then I will answer all the questions. So any doubt, hope. to some extent i i i explained about uh, what is pouring and what is fluid art so thank you so much guys okay bye messy hands bye